Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome. I hope you're having a good day. So today we're going to have a little bit of a chat about this uh, new thing that's happened on the WoW launcher, and I'm titling this video Advertisements in the WoW Launcher, and this might be a little bit different from some of the other videos I've done, because normally I actually write a script. Uh, at, at least I write a few bullet points for a video that I do. But today, I'm just kind of going to get my thoughts out there because they're all swelling around in my head and I've got a lot of stuff going on and it's been a very exciting week or so, I have to say. I only released a couple of videos last week, but exciting things are happening. I have to say, very exciting indeed. So I'm going to get those out of the way and then we're going to talk about this whole advertisements in the World of Warcraft launcher thing. Okay, so... First of all, I am nearly at 10,000 subscribers, to which I am absolutely astonished. I really am. I think I'm on about 9.2 thousand subscribers right now. That's just amazing. I know they're all coming through my guides and that a lot of people who are subscribed because of those guides won't watch these videos. But, you know, if you do, thank you very much. I really appreciate it. And uh, when it comes to those guides, I just want to get that out of the way now. My goal at the moment is to basically get every character up to level 100, every class. I'm working on that. Pretty much right now. I'm not actually playing as I do this, but you, you get my point. I'm working on it as much as I can while doing a few other things as well. Videos, mostly. And once I get those all up to level 100, I'm going to be ready for the next expansion. That's going to come out probably... I don't know. Probably early next year, maybe? Maybe late this year? I'm not sure. We'll definitely hear about it in November uh, when BlizzCon comes along. I think it's in November. Anyway, but it's going to be interesting to see what happens there. If it turns out that uh, it's going to be a massive delay until the next expansion, which hopefully there isn't, then I might change this plan. But right now the plan is, you know, get them all up to level 100, get them ready for the next expansion, get into the beta, try them all out, make beta guides, and then make, you know, live guides. And try and pump them all out really fast, you know, get those high quality guides done, work ridiculously hard, because those are the things that are kind of keeping the channel afloat right now, those big, big videos. So the Elemental Shaman guide's got nearly 90,000 views, and that's fantastic. That's just amazing to me that uh, it's doing as well as it is and it actually got me a little bit of attention and I'm gonna talk about that in just a second but hopefully if I can get every guide to that level released at the right time nice and early then I can just knock it out of the park and just things will just be fantastic so that's currently the goal now as I said nearly at 10,000 subscribers fantastic but something even more exciting has happened to me so last week I got an email from Blizzard and I was like, oh, it's another one of those spammy emails. It's like, here, give us all your account information at www.wewillnotstealyouraccount.gov. Things like that. Not .gov, but you get, you get my point. I just immediately thought it was spam. But then I read it, and turns out that it wasn't spam. I actually got an email from a community manager in the EU, actually, Belinda. They basically said to me, I want to share your videos via the World of Warcraft social media channels like Twitter and Facebook. And it blew my mind, and I got in contact with them, and I had a quick chat with them, and... Yeah, I'm kind of freaking out a little bit, I have to say. But, basically, they said to me, uh, so I looked at your, your Mythic PTR videos, because I did, uh, if you don't know about this, I made about, uh, how many dungeons are there, about six or seven? I made six or seven videos on the PTR about the Mythic dungeons. And I mean, they didn't get a massive amount of exposure, but I put them on the forums, the PTR forums, and it was basically me talking about Mythic Dungeons, kind of showing them to you, and offering suggestions for improvement. You know, saying things like, oh, hey, this is bugged, this isn't bugged, this seems like it should hit harder, this hits too hard. Uh, these are my ideas for new mechanics, because right now Mythic has no new mechanics. Probably will change, I hope it does. But Belinda basically said to me, yeah, I'm going to send those to the developers. That's kind of amazing and terrifying, and... I spent most of that day just freaking out, and uh, yeah, kind of amazing, I have to say. So, I'm really excited about that, and yeah, like I said, great things happening, really exciting, and I, I'm going to be getting in contact with them in the future, uh, when my videos get featured on things like the Facebook page, and uh, the Twitter accounts, things like that, and hopefully I'll be able to do more with them in the future. I, I'm just stunned, I'm absolutely stunned that my little channel has garnered enough attention that someone from Blizzard actually noticed and I had a real f fanboy moment when uh, they said to me, you know, I leveled up a shaman to level 100 and I've been watching your guides really carefully to try and learn how to play it and I'm like, ah, you work for Blizzard! How can you, why do you, oh goodness me! So I was really, really excited. I, just thinking about it makes me excited. So that was absolutely fantastic. So, yes, that happened. <laughs> I got contacted by Blizzard and some of my videos are going to be featured by them. So I'm super, super, super excited for that. 
And that kind of leads me on to the main topic of this video. I know that that could be a topic all by itself, but I mean, there really isn't too much to talk about. I got contacted, I'm stupendously excited, and that's kind of it. Hopefully we'll see stuff in the future. It's going to take a little bit of time to kind of go through the processes and things like that, but hopefully it should happen, and I'll keep you guys up to date about what's going on there. Now, main topic of this video, advertisements in the WoW launcher. Now, if you've had a glance at the Battle.net application launcher thing that you run all of your Blizzard games via, then you may have noticed uh, on the World of Warcraft launcher, there is a video that states, Meet Bajira and Warcraft Gen. I'm probably pronouncing at least one of those wrong. But basically, this is the result of a kind of the win winning of a contest, some kind of sponsored contest. I didn't follow it too closely, so I didn't know too much about it until really today, basically. But it's basically an introductory video that, you know, kind of exposes these two people. Now, they're YouTubers and streamers, very popular YouTubers and streamers, probably uh, some of the m most popular ones. I think Bajira got voted number one as the number one PvP streamer, which was cool. And they got, you know, they got this kind of, I don't know if it's a reward from that or something else, but they're on the WoW launcher and it's basically a small advert for them saying, you know, this is who we are. And it kind of just introduces them and they talk about themselves a little bit. I had a look at the video. It didn't interest me that much. I'm not really into PvP or this kind of thing. So, you know, it just I'm fine with it. But uh, what interests me about this is that there has been quite the response from a few people. And I'd say rather a, an unwarranted response. And I'd like to take the opportunity to add, you know, my two cents to kind of discuss it a little bit. And clearly, obviously my opinion is going to be biased because, I mean, they're YouTubers and streamers. I'm a YouTuber. I might get into streaming. I'm certainly still on the fence about it, but, you know, I'm a YouTuber. So this applies to me pretty directly, especially after having just been contacted by Blizzard. So what I'd like to do is I would like to quote to you a forum thread that I saw, and you've probably seen it as well if you've been hanging around an MMO champion, if you follow the blue tracker at all, because I do quite, I actually quite, I follow it quite religiously, and I'm not sure why. But anyway, this forum post reads, Dear Blizzard, I don't pay you to have my WoW launcher infested with advertisements of some random YouTube channels. Please don't do that again. Your own services are fine, though. Thank you. Okay, so uh, aside from the fact that that's not really how you should word feedback like that, I mean, uh, it's a little, little bit, I don't know what the word is. I know that the word entitled comes to mind, but I don't want to use it because I know that's got quite the reputation attached to it as a word, but that's what it reminds me of, in all honesty. And, uh, I mean, it's not the worst post in the world, absolutely not. It's actually fairly constructive for the WoW forums, but this has sparked quite the little debate and I'm kind of curious about where it's going and, as I said, I'd like to talk about it. So, naturally, I am in favour of this kind of thing. I mean, Blizzard is a massive company with a lot of people that watch it, and they've got their own community of loyal followers, and also people that create content for them. I am a member of that community. I mean, if you're watching this, then you could easily be considered a member of that community as well. Because really, whenever you're thinking about World of Warcraft, whenever you're getting involved in discussions about World of Warcraft, watching World of Warcraft videos, things like that, you are being a part of the World of Warcraft community. And the World of Warcraft community is very big, as you would as you would imagine. I mean, there's several million players of the game, and lots of different content creators. It's just let's just go with YouTube because that's really my area of expertise. If you could call what I do expertise, but there are loads of channels out there, and they offer all kinds of different things. I, for instance, offer mainly guides, and I like to think that I have quite a positive outlook on things. Uh, you've got other channels like uh, Fat Boss TV who do really great boss guides and uh, who have a really weird and funny sense of humor. They're very English, I like to say. They're just, they're good, they're funny. And then you've got uh, Preacher, Mike Preach Wow, he's called. Uh, he's uh, he's very raw, I'd say, and he's, uh, he's brutal. He's brutally honest at times, I think. I'm not really a massive fan of him, but I definitely enjoy his content, and I think that he makes really good stuff, you know? Other than that, there are loads and loads of channels out there. Loads of them. Bajira and Warcraft Gen, just one of them. So, I mean, I'm not sure if those are two different Warcraft channels or, you know, they just do different things on the same channel. I don't know. Uh, I don't really follow them. Like I said, I'm not really a PvPer, so it's not really that interesting to me. But my point is, there is a massive spectrum of content creators out there for World of Warcraft. And really, there isn't any easy way to find them. There's not really a list you can go to that's just like, these are people that make content for World of Warcraft because there's just no real way to find it. There's no automated process that puts you on a list. I mean, even Blizzard can only find World of Warcraft 
YouTubers by, you know, actually trying to find them. And you really just stumble across them. That's how you stumble across most channels. You just end up watching one of their videos and you're like, oh, this is pretty cool. I should watch more of them. So I think that adding a popular YouTuber onto the World of Warcraft launcher and just a little bit of an advertisement for them is fine. I think that's, I think that's just fine. But I think that getting angry about it is really odd. I mean, I think it's born from a lack of understanding. I really think it is. And uh, I'd like to start by saying it's understandable that something like this could be frustrating to someone. Because, you know, you're just kind of sitting there, you're doing your thing, you know, you're like, okay, I'm just going to play some World of Warcraft. Oh, what's this? And you just see two random people, and it's like, oh, this is just a random YouTube channel. Who, who are these people? They're not very funny. Then, yeah, I'm, I'm leaving now. You know, and it might feel like a waste of your time. And that's completely understandable. You know, if it's not for you, it's not for you. And it's easy to understand how it's being shoved in your face. But first of all, I really don't think it is, because it's just there. You don't even have to interact with it in the slightest to play World of Warcraft. You just have to press the button. I mean, most people probably didn't even notice it. They were just like, yeah, wow, go. And that's it. So I don't understand the argument that it's kind of in the way. The whole random YouTube channel thing, I think is, like I said, when I quoted that thing, it says, uh, I don't pay you to have my WoW launcher infested with advertisements of some random YouTube channel. Now, I think this is born from a lack of understanding as to how much work goes into people who work on YouTube. Now, I think that there is a big fallacy surrounding working on YouTube because I've been doing this for over a year now and I will tell you, it's been really damn hard. You would be surprised how hard it's been. And it seems easy at first, right? You think, oh, all I have to do is make videos about World of Warcraft. I mean, it's a game I love. I love making videos. And you have the stuff you need to make it. And you just think, oh, that's easy, right? You just have to keep doing it. And in a way, yeah, that is kind of what you have to do. But think about this. A video almost every day for over a year about World of Warcraft. You have to think of something every day, right? You have to do the same thing every day. You have to write, at least this is what I have to do. Have to write a script record the footage, edit it together, let it render, that normally takes like two or three hours, upload it, another two or three hours, add description, add tags, add thumbnail, you have to design the thumbnail as well, which I'm, I'm very bad at making thumbnails, and then you have to promote it uh, via Twitter and Facebook and all that stuff, and release it, and also monetize it, I've forgotten to do that a couple of times, because it's on a different tab, but you have to do that every single day. It's a process that takes several hours every single day. And depending on the complexity of the video, I mean, you've seen, if, if you're a follower of the channel, you've seen my guides. Some of them are over an hour long. They take weeks to make. I'm not joking. It literally takes that long because everything is massive and it takes so much time. But I'd say it's worth it and I get a lot of satisfaction out of it. And these people that make these videos, even if it's just something like this, this is going to be a 15, 20 minute long rant, essentially, from me. And that's kind of it. I'll put some footage over it and then render it. That's all I'm going to do. And of course, I'll actually edit the audio so I don't stutter and sound like a complete moron. But that's the general process. And even in a video that's kind of this easy to make, it's on the easier spectrum of videos, a lot of love and passion goes into it. Because, I mean, at the end of the day, you can say what you want about YouTubers. But I think they are some of the most passionate people around. When you filter out all of the people that are just trying to make a, a quick buck, so to speak, you know, all these people that are just trying to make a little bit of money, all the people that are just pandering to an audience, the people out there that are truly passionate, and there are so many people out there that are using YouTube as a platform to convey their passion for anything, be it World of Warcraft, games, I don't know, just talking on vlogs. You know, think about if you've heard of the Vlogbrothers, if you haven't, I absolutely suggest them. They are raw, and they are positive, and they are passionate, and they've used YouTube as a platform to launch themselves into what is essentially the public eye. They're definitely getting there, and they promote such a message of understanding and passion and love, and it's fantastic. And I think that a lot of YouTubers that make content about WoW are very similar. It's not the same message, you know? It's not, you know, love and peace and all that stuff, but they tell you to enjoy the game, they show you how much they enjoy it themselves. I mean, think about how much you've really got to love World of Warcraft to make videos about it every day. You turn it literally into a job, into a career. You think to yourself, how can I make this stuff compelling for my audience so that I can live, essentially, right? I mean, it might not be someone's sole source of income, but it's probably the most passionate one, probably the one they care the most about. They can go off and do their other stuff, but damn, YouTube is fantastic. And these people have poured their hearts and their passion 
into this stuff. And what help do they get, really? That's what you have to ask yourself. What help do they get? None, really. The only real way they can get successful, I mean, successful is a bit of a dirty word in my eyes. Uh, I like to think that you have successes, not just success, because I would certainly say that, you know, reaching 10,000 subscribers will, will be a success. Uh, getting my Elemental Shaman Guide to 100,000 views will be a success. Being contacted by Blizzard was a success, you know, things like that. And these people build their lives around that. And really, the only way you can get to those successes is, well, honestly, luck. That's it. It's just luck. If you make good content, it will almost always be up against something else. I mean, I my videos compete with uh, Mike Pretrow, who I mentioned earlier in the video. My videos directly compete with him, my successful ones anyway. My guides directly compete with him, right? Which puts me in a bit of a disadvantage because he's gigantic and I'm tiny, right? And if I were to ever make boss guides, I'd go into competition with Fat Boss. If I ever made PvP videos, I'd go into competition with Bajira. So, I mean, for someone like me, it's really difficult. I mean, even for them, it's difficult because they've got to find ways to make themselves known. They have to find ways to try and trick the system to get their videos shown when someone searches for something. That's really the only way that someone can discover them. So when you see sites like MMO Champion promoting, say, a fat boss guide, or you see uh, these, these posts by Twitter and Facebook, the World of Warcraft Twitter and Facebook that say, oh, X, X person has made Y video, you should check it out. And you see people on the launcher like this, it's just Blizzard helping those people because Blizzard has that power. So many people pay attention to Blizzard, and if they endorse something that is genuinely good, then I don't see a problem with it. Because I think Bajira is genuinely good, he wouldn't be successful if he wasn't. And I think that Blizzard having that power and doing stuff with it is good, because I genuinely think that Blizzard knows quality when they see it, because they are a quality company. These people that make their careers off of YouTube, they are so reliant on this kind of thing. I mean, every single time I see someone you know, favorite one of my tweets that I've released a guide, or I see someone who's liked it, or subscribed to me, or comment, anything like that, anything that helps the channel grow, I will jump all over it as much as I can, and talk to them, and try and promote it even more, because there is no real way of doing it. It's just luck. You have to get the ball rolling, and then you slowly build a subscriber base. The only other way to really grow, other than that slow growth, is an explosion. And that isn't really healthy for a channel if you just explode into the public eye on YouTube. So it's really important that it's shared. And I mean, what difference is this that, you know, Blizzard is sharing it as opposed to something like, you know, Meme Base or MMO Champion or any other site that people pay attention to, you know? How is it any different? It isn't, really. It's just a video that was designed to go on the launcher. Blizzard already endorse and advertise different YouTubers and streamers and all that kind of stuff via Twitter and Facebook and the other social media stuff that I don't even know exists, probably. But they do that, you know? So this is no different, in my opinion. And it's very easy to say, you know, oh, it's kind of in the way and all that stuff. But a couple of points. First of all, it's not in the way because you can just you can just press play, and you, you can just look at it and say, I'm not interested in that, play, that's it. Second of all, looking at Bajira's channel, he has 268,000 subscribers, right? The featured video on his channel has 46,000 views. If I look at some of the other stuff he's done, you know, he's got thousands of views per video. I mean, this guy is successful already. An advertisement isn't going to make or break him. He's lucky enough to be that big. I mean, something like that for me would definitely make or break the channel, I would definitely say that, but it's really important, I think, that this experiment, it's essentially an experiment, this experiment actually, you know, succeeds, and that Blizzard attempts to do this again, maybe with smaller channels, I'm not saying myself, but yes, please, you get my point, you know, I would love to be contacted by Blizzard and say, you know, you're a small channel, you make good content, we'd like to promote you, because I know I'm not the only channel out there that's like that, I know there are channels out there that make good World of Warcraft content and that are small, like me. Some of them are smaller, some of them are bigger than me. This is an experiment, really. Smaller channels would be made by this kind of advertisement. Maybe broken, I don't know. But if Blizzard sees that this was a good idea and they do it again, and they start supporting their community, I don't see how that's bad. I don't see how it's bad for the YouTubers because they'd get more views, they'd get a bigger subscriber base, they'd just become more successful, they'd make more videos of good quality because it all relies on Blizzard actually, you know, picking channels with good quality content. And I think, like I said, they know quality when they see it. 
and it would be good for the customers because it's more exposure for Blizzard, which means they make more money. Because there is a direct link between how successful YouTube videos are of a product and how much that product sells, you know? People actually making content about World of Warcraft makes World of Warcraft bigger because it reaches more people. And I know I've got several people on my channel who have commented and said, you know, you've made me resubscribe to World of Warcraft, you know, things like that. You know, oh, I was considering quitting, but then I saw this video and it really reignited my passion for it. So you could directly link that. I have made Blizzard money by making people resubscribe because of the passion in my videos. And how many people out there do you think are similar? You know, and sharing the community, making it bigger, showing more interest in it and interacting with the community even more than Blizzard already do is fantastic in my opinion. I don't see how they can go wrong with it. I really don't. But you know, that's just me. It's a difficult issue and my thoughts are obviously, my opinion is very biased because I am a member of one side of it. So I just thought I'd mention that and use the opportunity to talk about how I got contacted by Blizzard and I'm nearly at 10,000 subscribers and I'm really, 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 really excited and freaking out. I need to find out what I should do for 10,000 subscribers. We should think about that. Anyway, that will conclude this video. A little bit of a rant. I just wanted to get my thoughts out there. And really, this can just fill one of the videos for the day, you know? I can work on other things while this one goes up. But yes, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and hopefully you found it helpful. If you have any thoughts, comments, questions, all that stuff, you can contact me using the links in the description or you can just leave a comment. Thank you very much for watching and I wish you the best of luck in the world of Warcraft.